Hello and welcome guys and girls, this is Lead Gaming, my name is Lily Mayhem and today we're gonna have a look at Saniata. <laughs> First of all, this is not an MLG Pro. Oh my god, what the fuck? Best class guide video tutorial ever. This will be a more or less short sneak peek at how I am playing Saniato at the moment and how I am using him. Attention, this video doesn't contain his abilities. In this guide, I will assume that you already played Saniato and you know his right or left click, also his ultimate and basic abilities. But now, let's start this guide as I wanted. I have to say, Senyato is one of my absolutely favorite characters. Senyato is absolutely amazing at supporting and dealing damage, and as I love to do both, he's a fucking blast to me. How to play. Okay, now we gonna start with the part everyone is waiting for. Senyato is a some kind of single target damage dealer and healer, but first, your first priority is to heal. What we have to say at this point, you can only heal one target at a time and you have to switch the orb around to other targets which means you always or best heal the target getting focus normally that's a tank or maybe shortly a damage dealer if your team drops slow and you have to swap the heal orb around on the team try to get everyone heal but only switch the orb if someone's really dying or the orb has finished one of your allies to heal on full HP it doesn't help to let the orb jump around in seconds because you need to wait for the tick to heal. Senyata's heal is not that great if you compare it to a Mercy, but on focusing targets it is pretty powerful because you can still move around your alley and your enemies while healing. Next big thing on playing Senyata is the positioning. Your positioning is absolutely key. Always remember this. Always. Senyata has a big lack of mobility. He's not that slow, but he isn't fast enough either to get out of a fight, nor can he crowd control or anything like that. So if you get to you get point blanked, you are dead. At 100% sure. If you do not take out the target within three shots or something like that. So remember, always stick with your team and near pillars or other covering objects. As Senyata you are never at the front line, except you are when you are in your ultimate, but we will talk about that later in this video. So you have a pretty hard task right here. You have to stay near your team or with your team so they can help you, but you have to stay far away enough to cover and to kite. Also you have to watch out for snipers, Widowmaker, Soldier 76, Hanzo and Genji or McCree are your worst nightmare the absolute worst they will always two or even one shot you right away so please stay away from these targets positioning takes a really a lot of practice keep that in mind and please train as hard as you can if you want to play Senyata. now we get to the next main task if you want so as i said in our anna review it's the same here with Senyata. always keep the overview or better say overwatch <laughs> okay well um, yeah, let's move on then. You may call out people for flanking enemies. You all can always call out your team for getting into another position if you play in a group. May say that you want to be the leader or the call guy of your team. Your team wins and falls with the overview. Always keep it and always give feedback at best before something is happening. Now we come to your second task. This task is what you do while you are doing the other three. You see, that's why Senyata is pretty hard to play. You have three big main tasks that are not that easy to do. And then, while you are doing it, you have to deal damage and help your team to deal damage. So, well, how does this roll? I almost only use left click for shooting. It does, in my opinion, deal more damage over time than rather having your orbs charging. However, you have to shoot your balls around every time possible. Damage shields, damage everything. Put out as much balls as you can, even pre-fire into a corner if someone's around. You have 20 shots per clip if you want, so use it. Now, while you're shooting around, always shoot your Discord orb with it. If you shoot on a target while you're shooting, press E to get the orb on the target. You can do this while shooting the Discord orb. It's really fast on the target, on the first hand. On the second hand, it pushes the damage. If I am not wrong to 50% Plus damage incoming. This is fucking ridiculous. You don't even need a global cooldown for shooting the Discord up, so always stick it 
on your target you are shooting. If your allies are focusing someone really hard, just get it on him. If you see a tank and his shield is maybe not up in the air, spam it so you can reach him. When his shields go back up, it will absolutely destroy the guy. Now, what you can do too, if you play in a team, focus targets by getting the orb on it. Like, if you are the caller, get the orb on a target and just call that guy out. You will never see someone dropping that fast, trust me. What I wanted to say shortly, I always use your Discord orb for yourself to deal damage and your team. It's really, really powerful. Now, even if you are a squishy hero and a squishy little monk, you're an absolute lifesaver for your team. If an ultimate is dropping it, pull out your ultimate. You are now, since they patched it, really fast in moving and you heal a shitload of health while you are in your ultimate. Just move around with your circle in your team and heal everyone up. Actually, there's four situations to ultimate in my opinion. There's an ultimate incoming on your team you have to absorb. Just ultimate and stay in the middle of your team. Then maybe you want to engage a spot. It's perfect for that. Especially with Lucio. It's absolutely amazing how you can engage on a spot. Just use your ultimate and charge into a place and wreck everything. Now, there may be a situation where no one can heal fast enough even with some without someone ultimating from the other team. If you are on a choke point but you're really kicking it, may ultimate so you can top half all of your opponents, uh, all your allies for a moment and give them some space to play with. The last option for the ultimate is a really tricky one to say, because it needs a lot of practice to know when, how you should act like that. If you are getting wrecked by one player and you are sure you're gonna die, but your team is needing you or is super good in pressuring, if the situation allows it, use your ultimate to save your own life. While you're ultimating with Senyata, you are in absolute god mode. You can't be killed, you can... You are just indestructible. However, you can get shoved around, that's what's possible, yeah. But anyway, maybe in some situations if you are behind your team getting focused or attacked, but you really, really badly need to stay alive, use your ultimate to save yourself. In some situations it may be really helpful that you stay alive. Now we get to the tips and tricks part, so listen up. First of all, first tip. I said it on Anna, and I will say it on Senyata. Heal the healer. Your healer may need some help. With Senyata, you can help him with healing because most of the healers can't heal themselves, or maybe they have a cooldown whatsoever. Help your own healer. It's really, really important. Second one never ever use Senyata as a solo healer or supporter in a match. Senyato has so many things he can do which are a fucking amazing but however never use him as the only healer on the team. You will not heal enough you will then even if you played super awesome sauce you get really really flamed really hard flamed by your teammates. Ah uh, and please be sure to be careful if you pick Senyato together with Anna. This is a really aggressive setup and you should play it like that. Number three. Senyato can always charge his right click full for shooting multiple balls even if he has only one ball left in the clip. Try it out. Number four. As Senyata, you have actually 150 armor and 50 health points. Armor is always restoring if you are out of combat. So you have to you have some kind of self-heal or better say self-repairing in this part. Senyata will always restore at least 150 points of health. The rest of 50 has to be healed because these are actual health points. Keep that in mind if you are out of trouble and have a minute to relax and if the situation is calm, do not take away health packages from your teammates. Players like McGree and so on um, do not have a self-heal, keep that in mind. Number five. And as always a tip for all classes, have fun while playing. Take breaks if you are not kicking it. It's really important to keep your moral up in your team in a team based game and especially in Overwatch. I guess that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for attending this long video. It was a pleasure to show you this support character. If you like the video, click the thumb up button. We will appreciate that. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. We are Lead Gaming. My name is Lila Mayhem. And we want to see you on another video. Cheerio! <laughs>